about uh, you guys got your former high school teammate there who's got a lot of sacks. Oh yeah, Hamlicar. Yeah, what do you think about Hamlicar? Man, he's a monster. I've been telling the offensive line, you know, you got to put a little step in your step because you know number nine is coming after you. So I'm excited. I, I really, I really like his progression throughout these years. And, you know, having all those sacks this year is crazy, crazy. You guys talking all, like, kind of banter? Oh, yeah. Leading up to the game? Oh, of course, of course. I, you know, I always ask him, and I was cool. I'm cool with Chase Young, so it's like him and, and Hamilcar, they were neck and neck for, uh, for sacks, and then after that Wisconsin game, Chase killed him. So I keep telling him, like, hey, you ain't playing for a couple days, man. You better, you better, you better get back on your sacks in your TFL. So but he's a good guy, you know, and I, I, he's excited to, to play against us. How about the wide receiver going to go up against Isaiah Hodgins? Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, his play? Uh, man, he's, he's been playing phenomenal this year. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that uh, a lot of things that he was doing uh, against some of the defenses is crazy. I think that the scheme that the he's in is, is, is another good thing. And, you know, him being 6'4", 220, you know, that's, that's, that's a big receiver. You play against a lot of good wide receivers lately. What's that challenge like? It seems like you thrive on that. Oh yeah, you know, I, I honestly when I know that I'm going up against somebody like 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 the Pittmans, the, the Hodges and stuff like that, I know like I gotta buckle down, you know. So I would just stay on my phone, stay in the films, and just watch what I can watch, try to give off a little tips and stuff, and just play aggressive with them. I mean, just talk about the defense uh, last week. I mean, rough first quarter. What did you guys do, especially in the secondary, to shore things up in the second quarter? And the rest of the game? Uh, some people, you know, were hurt. Uh, I know, like, uh, we made some adjustments in the halftime. You know, Kobe went to Ranger um, on the boundary side, and, you know, I feel like that helped us out a lot. Um, there was nothing that we changed. You know, I think it was just mentality. You know, we started off slow, and we had to pick it back up, and then, you know, three points in the total of three quarters, that's, 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 that's pretty good. So everybody's asking, what can you do to avoid another slow start on Saturday? Man, it starts at practice. It starts at, on Tuesday practice. You know what I mean? If you don't, if you don't come out with a good edge, if you don't feel like you don't want to practice or anything like that, that's what Coach Hurts is telling everybody. Get out. You know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to uh, go through what everybody else is going through to get to where we want to get, you gotta get out. So that's how I feel like we need to correct. Them. You know, come out hot on uh, last or uh, yesterday, which I think that we did. We came out hot today, and we just gotta keep finishing up until Saturday. Seems to be back off that. Obviously, veteran leaders on this team. How the young guys? Obviously, nobody wants to lose, but hell, how do you help kind of pick them up? I'm just telling them, you know, you, you, you got to control what you can control, you know, make sure that you're, you're doing your assignments great, make sure that you're aligning like the coaches want you to, and, um, you know, just play ball, that's what football's about, you know, you're going to get beat, that's just what it is, and especially at our position in the secondary, you know, if we do make a little minute mistake, you know, it's a touchdown, so that's why I feel like, uh, I be telling the, the, the other kids, like, don't look on social media, you know what I mean, don't, don't pay attention to any of that stuff, because, you know, it's going to just affect you and your uh, affect your, your, you know, your confidence. So I just be telling them, like, you know, it's our first year. We got four or five, you know what I'm saying, three, maybe, uh, more years to go. You know, just, just be patient. Just keep working. How has Danny's message changed these past, this past month or so? It's never changed. You know, ever since I met Danny, uh, or Coach Gonzalez, the, the first day I met him, he's been the same. You know, he's been very uh, like, very intense, just telling us to run to the ball, you know, and just, just like I said, just do your job. If you do, every, if you do your job, if everyone, every uh, one of the 11 is on the defense, works as one, you know, you can be unbeatable, unstoppable. I apologize if somebody's already asked this before, but we've seen Coach Edwards giving you pieces of advice throughout practices and, and, and little tiny critiques. How valuable is it to have him just have the experience playing in the NFL in the secondary and be able to teach you things? Oh, it's very valuable. That's why sometimes it, I just go over there and just ask him, even if he doesn't even tell me, you know, you know, you're doing this wrong or what you're doing here. I go up and ask him, like, hey, man, what you think about this rep? What do you think about this? What you see last, uh, like yesterday on the film? And you know, it's very, very critical to me because, I, like you said, he plays the same position as me, and he was the best at it. He was one of the best at it. So, you know, I try to just critique, critique every day, just trying to be like a, a good corner, like something that he can see and be like, okay, yeah, yeah, this, this guy's really good.